Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this video series, we are going to cover general and basic concepts of geography which are usually asked for UPSC, NDA, SSC, CDS and other competitive exams. This will be useful to all those who are preparing for competitive exams. Before getting to the video, those who have not yet joined our telegram channel, please join. We are providing all study materials in the group and do check out our page on Instagram. For your queries and doubts, DM in the Instagram page. So without wasting much time, let's start the video. In this video, we will learn how deserts are formed. When we think of the desert, this kind of a sandy picture comes to our mind, right? But then that's not the only desert. There are basically four types of desert. The first one is hot and dry desert which extends the subtropical region. They exist along the Tropic of Cancer and Tropic of Capricorn. The subtropical region is due to pressure differences and circulation patterns of air masses that hinders the formation of clouds and that's why there is very little rainfall on the land which eventually causes subtropical desert. Basically a subtropical region is a high pressure zone. The second type of desert is rain shadow desert. So there are two sides of mountain. One is the windward side and other is the leeward side. By looking at the name you can easily figure out that windward means the side of the mountain which faces a lot of wind. As a result the side of the mountain faces a lot of rainfall. And leeward side is the opposite side. Where it is dry there is no wind. That means there is very little and no rainfall at all at the leeward side of the mountain. So the semi-arid and cold deserts are found on the leeward side of the mountain, which are also known as rain shadow deserts. When moisture hits a mountain range, it is forced to rise. As a result, the air cools and forms cloud. Because of that, it rains on the windward side of the mountain. After that, the air moves over the mountain top and begins to descend on the other side. There is very little moisture left. That descending air warms up, making it difficult to form clouds. Hence, there is no rain in the leeward side of the mountain. So, the region on the leeward side of the mountain becomes a desert. Some examples of rain shadow deserts are Mongolia's Gobi Desert, the eastern part of Western Ghana. If you look at the state of Karnataka, you will find some deserts which are located on the eastern side of Western Ghats. Another example is the Sahara Desert, where the northern part of African country is completely covered with Atlas Mountains that block the wind from the Atlantic Ocean and Mediterranean Sea. The third type of desert is Coastal Deserts. When cold ocean currents move towards shore, these winds are cold because they are in contact with cold water and they produce a layer of fog which is a thick cloud of tiny water droplets. They are too small to fall as rains. This heavy fog moves onto the land, but sun's heat make them disappear during the day. Since there is no rain, the coastal region turns into desert. Some examples of coastal deserts include the Namib Desert in southwestern Africa and the Atacama Desert in Chile. Finally, we have the fourth type that is cold and polar desert. Examples of polar desert are Antarctica, Alaska, Canada, Greenland, Iceland, Norway, Sweden, Finland, Russia. In India, we have Ladakh, which is a cold desert. Even Mongolia's Gobi Desert is a cold desert, but it is also a rain shadow desert. Patagonian Desert in Argentina is also a cold desert and are found in temperate regions at higher latitude and located at the center of the continent. Because of the low temperature, pressure, moisture, distance from the sea and poor vegetation, precipitation is very low in this region. So the important thing that you have to remember is that these different types of desert have one thing in common. They lack humidity and moisture. When there is less humidity or moisture, then there is a shortage of rain. The desert is an area that receives very little precipitation. I hope this video was very useful for you. If you like the video, click the like button. And if you want to see more of such content, make sure you have subscribed. By doing so, you will get an alert when the next video comes. Thank you.